Yeah, I get it, but the, 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 the name of it sometimes sounds like we're judging. We are. Of course we are. God, I hate that when people say, no judging. I'm like, you're kidding me. Please tell me you use judgment. If people come on like, judgment's a bad thing. I use judgment almost every day. No judging. No judge. We're deciding whether you're a good fit for the company. <laughs> no judging. <laughs> Would you like to marry me? No judgment. <laughs> and the client, you know, trying to decide between you and two other potentially lowest bids, you know, and they go, yes, I'm not judging you or anything. What, are you kidding me? Of course you're judging. You're judging whether or not we're going to do a good job for you. Get your house business back in order again. Of course we're judging. So I'm okay with the judging. I don't want to, like, capital J, but maybe a small J. But that's what this personality thing is. And by the way, there's a personality self-assessment. Again, does anybody get hurt if you happen to know which personality you are? Let's do it again. This time, it's a, it's a grid, four quadrants. Vertical line, horizontal line. You're going to create it. Each uh, personality assessments sometimes have as many as 32, 64 personalities. For our purposes today, we're going to do four. I know you took the test, but I'm going to bet you all the money in my front left pocket. Very few of you remember the four styles. Anybody? What are they? Excellent. Is there another person in this room? <laughs> Case probably knows, okay, but most people can't remember this, right? And Myers-Briggs is worse, you know, sanguine. What the hell, you know, I mean, can't even spell sanguine. So I'm going to give you four easy ones. Upper left corner is relator. Upper right corner is socializer. Lower right corner is director. And the lower left corner is thinker. Just those four words, you know exactly how to classify, whatever that word is, classify, understand, relate to the person you're talking to. Assuming you know who you are. Assuming you know who you are. Let's do some plus and minuses so you understand this, and then we'll, get, we'll finish this segment and um, maybe get you to a break. We are going to take a break this afternoon. I think it's going to be after this segment. Let's see how you feel. Upper left corner, relators, plus and minus. The good news about relators, relators are people, people. They build bridges. Relators are pleasers for the most part. You probably know somebody who's a relator. You may be a relator, which is cool. Relators are great people. All of these are great people. That's why it's not bad to assess. They're all great. In the upper right corner, socializers, plus and, oh, the negative to uh, relator, sorry, negative. They don't like conflict. Relators will do anything to avoid confrontation. Not a bad thing, just how they are. In the upper right, socializer, pluses and minuses. Pluses, number one, love to have fun. even at work, even with bugs, something most people don't consider to be fun. Let's have some fun with the bugs. Bad news about socializers, they like to have fun so much, people have trouble taking them seriously. Socializers sometimes have a hard time getting promoted because they're not, they don't take work seriously enough. Lower left corner of the thinkers. Let's do a plus and a minus. Thinkers are the best decision makers on your team, without a doubt. High threshold for analytical processing. Can't get enough data and information. Give it to me, man. I'm going to make a really great decision here. Bad news about thinkers, they often take a long time to make that decision. They're, in, they're insatiable of data, which means they can't get enough, which means they're always processing. Renee and I are like, are like that at home. You know, she, she presents me with a scenario and I go, let me think about it. She goes, well, what do you need to think about? <laughs> right. 
everything. All the ramifications, price points, advantages, disadvantages, who it impacts. Paralysis by analysis. That is that what you call it, sir? I call it fun. I call it uh, forward thinking. Of course I do. I like it. So good point. Uh, the yin and the yang, we look at it different ways, <coughs> Renee and I. Um, so the downside to thinkers is they, they sometimes take a long time to make the decision. The last category for pluses and minuses on the lower right is the director. Plus for the director, they like two things that American businesses crave. Efficiency and productivity. A director will do anything to get those two things. Efficiency and productivity. And, and they are rewarded for it in spades in the business world. Because businesses like those two things too. That's why the director is the only one of the four personality styles who has his personality style on his business card. Can you imagine your business card saying, Mark Truitt, socializer. <laughs> Not going to happen. But Mark Truitt, director. Right? Directors have a big problem, though. Their negative is that they often achieve those two things, productivity and efficiency, at the expense of their greatest resource. What's that? People, their team. So each of the personalities has the yin and the yang. Your job is to figure out who you're talking to and then arrange the conversation around their personality, not yours. It doesn't take long once you get the hang of it. I'm going to take you through four scenarios. Let's do it quick. You're going to go into a one-hour meeting with the relator. What should you talk about for the first 40 minutes if you're smart? What's that? Positive. Positive for sure. But what specifically? People specifically. What kind of people? Family. Whose family? Their family. Exactly right. Their family, their pets. Now, it's a one-hour meeting. And I want you to spend 40 minutes, 4-0, not 1-4, four, 4-0 four, on family and pets. Starting in minute 41, that relator will do anything you want them to do because you paid homage to them. Directors can't figure this out. The director, the director doesn't want us to talk about that stuff. The director didn't even know you had a family. But if you honor the relator, they will do whatever you want them to do. 25% of the population, all things being equal, 25% of the grid will do whatever you tell them to do because they want to please you. Which personality style? Related. The relator. That could come in handy when you're selling some services. They just want to know that you like them and, you tr and then that they trust you and then leave the brochure in your bag because they'll, they'll be ready to buy now. I've used this over and over again with clients. I do it on the phone. You have the benefit of being in their house looking at pictures of their family and their kids and petting the dog while you're talking about the dog. Huge advantage. So it's not just limited to leadership stuff for the team. You can also use it with, uh, in client settings. Okay. You're going to go into a one-hour meeting with the socializer. Where will the meeting take place? Bar. In a bar. <laughs> <laughs> or a restaurant. Which restaurant? <laughs> Their restaurant. You don't choose it. They choose it. Why is that important? They're comfortable there. They're gonna, they got their own cheers, you know, or they got a place where everybody knows their name, or they got, they got, they know which one they want to be at. You know, they want to be seen, so they they know all the hot spots. They know all the lunch specials. When you walk into the restaurant, the uh, the the um, hostess will want to seat you at a table. Which table do you sit at? The one that your guest wants to sit at because it's important to them. 
you might get to the table and want to sit down right away. Please don't do that. Please wait for the other person to sit down first because the socializer wants one of those chairs. Which one? Back to the wall, baby. So I can see everybody and everybody can see me. My brother Joe and I are both socializers. When we go to a restaurant, it's a foot race to see who can get to the table first. And we laugh about it every time. You're going to go into a one-hour meeting with a thinker. What should you take? Statistics, data. If you're selling, the brochure comes out of the suitcase, the briefcase, at this visit. Don't leave it in the bag. Don't try to wing it. They want numbers. They want pie charts. You're going to go into a one-hour meeting with the director. Forget about it. It won't take an hour. It'll just take six minutes. Why? Because they can get it done in six minutes. They're about efficiency and productivity. Where will that meeting take place? Their office. Might be, maybe. Their office, your office, parking lot, in the rain, doesn't matter. In the bathroom, elevator, wherever they can get efficiency and productivity. On Monday morning at 8 o'clock in the parking lot, the boss says to you, uh, he doesn't say, how was your weekend? Did you, did you get enough rest? He says, are you ready for our 9 o'clock? It's not that he doesn't care about your weekend. It's just that he cares about the 9 o'clock meeting more. You understand? Can you get good at identifying these four personalities? Let's go through the room again. How many of you think, and you can only vote once. I know my lady friends in the back won't vote at all. Because <laughs> you might be a combination again, right? Yeah, who isn't is right. Again, dominant. And let's do this. Well, who you are at work, not who you are at home. Ladies, you can be a, a director at work, but a relator at home. You can easily imagine yourself this way. Who are you at work as a leader? That's where we're at today. How many of you think you might...